So I've bought a new surface grinder and at the moment it's in bits and most of the bits are sat on here. Uh, when I had a look at it I realised it was very worn. So the main area of, of wear is on the column so I set this up on the surface plate and measured the, the face of the column when you have about two thou wear here which isn't too bad the rest is, is reasonably straight um, but the, the bigger issue is uh, the amount of wear on the sides of the column uh, and when I run this little tool down we see we have about 10 thou wear um, the belly on the surface is there uh, and the belly on the sides is about there so time to start re-scraping I've already done a couple of uh, goes over just to um, get rid of some of, the, some of the material so I've done a few more passes this time with blue I just thought I'd talk about my setup here so the casting is on three points, you can't really see them three jacks uh, and I've levelled it off so that this end is at zero because there's very little wear there and this end here which was underneath a um, a bracket for the lead screw was at zero as well uh, and then it was uh, level across there relative to the to the surface plate um, because I'm using my big surface plate to sit it on uh, I've got to use my small surface plate to scrape um, so there's a bit of a compromise we're having to to use the small surface plate in conjunction with a, a straight edge here uh, and also measuring relative to the surface plate to, to make sure that surface is, is flat. Uh, so you can, do, you can do it in sections but you just need to be careful as you scrape that you don't uh, introduce more error. I have a bigger straight edge but it's not that much wider and it's a lot lot heavier so I decided not to use that. This is the pattern after about five passes with no blue and two passes with blue you can see the, uh, the the gully essentially that's in there. I just thought I'd talk about what I'm using here. So this is uh, focus, yeah, Stuart's micrometer marking blue, which is readily available in the UK. Um, just apply it to the the surface plate using uh, this brayer. Yeah, and that's. Uh, Let's see. Ooh. Come on, focus. Yeah, that's the resulting pattern at the moment. So I'll come back once I've joined these two bits together. Uh, at the moment, it's just very rough scraping. The aim is just to get material off. Uh, it's not about creating a uh, bearing area at the moment. So uh, what I do is I blue once and then scrape twice uh, and scrape in long strokes uh, just to simply get rid of material. So I've checked progress and you can see uh, reference to that zero point with down one and a half thou in this dip here uh, but we're at three quarters minus three quarters there so there's a bit of work to take this this area at the top down so that's the, the next area of focus. So we've got an even coating of spots now so we're trying to split up the spots to create more bearing area so you can see that I've started at this end and still got this end to do. I've finished scraping the front surface, so now I'm aligning the uh, dovetail. So I'm using the unworn part at the top here uh, and the unworn part at the bottom here, uh, and using these one, two, three blocks as a, an end stop, uh, and then using the shank of this end mill as a dowel that sits in there and you measure the top surface there uh, and so that that's done here and at the bottom and so this is aligned up to nominally where it should be when it was originally manufactured uh, I'll take, take these off and use my straight edge and scrape this surface and then every so often do a, a similar setup to this to recheck I've finished scraping the underside uh, and I just checked the alignment uh, with its previous position uh, and it's within a, a couple of thou which is more than sufficient uh, the real reference surface is here 
uh, and it doesn't really matter that much the orientation of that in that direction relative to this what's important is that orientation uh, and when the spindle's on here the orientation in that direction um, so I've reset this up on three jacks and time to check uh, what the wear looks like now so I've got this uh, jig that I've showed you before with um, essentially six points of contact two there, two on this side and one there uh, and then the indicator on the the bottom way um, so I'm not sure if you can see that so set for zero there so as I move this along get an idea of, uh, of the wear there so we're looking at about 5 thou um, so it indicates that the wear was fairly even on each side uh, so right I'll go and blue this up now uh, and see what that surface looks like so the blue marks tie up with what the DTI showed there's an area of blue here uh, an area of blue here and there's a few high spots in here, a few ridges and things that will need clearing off so the next job is to give it a scrape all the way over get rid of any ridges on this side any ridges on this side and go start going through the scraping bluing, scraping bluing sequence 